Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to write the equation of a circle in general form. The general form of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c, where a, b, and c are all real numbers. Um, with this, you do need to write it in standard form first, or it's easier to write it in standard form. Um, you can't get as much information from general form, so it's probably not used as often, especially to graph, it's much easier to graph from standard form. So um, because the purpose of this is to get it in general form, we are not going to graph this one. Um, what we are going to do is, like I said, we're going to start with standard form. And remember that standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared where h and k are the center and r is the radius. So we're simply going to just plug those values in and then in general form we just expand the standard form. So we would take, we're going to leave the x, I'm going to replace h with 2 and k with 11. So we would have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 11 squared equals 2 square root of 2 squared. So we're going to go ahead and expand this right now. So remember that x minus 2 squared, um, I'm just going to do it for the first one. The second one, I'm going to use the shortcut. Um, but just remember that x minus 2 squared is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 2, so you don't ever want to forget the middle term on these, because remember that um, anytime you take a binomial times a binomial, that you do have to FOIL, so I would do first times first, outside, inside, and last, so don't forget that that's what this really means, um, because if you just write x squared plus 4 here, you will get the wrong answer every single time. So be aware of the fact that when you're squaring a binomial that you really are taking and FOILing, and the pattern is, basically the rule is you square the first term, so I would square the x. I would multiply x times negative 2, which would give me negative 2x, and I have two of them because I have a negative 2x here, and I have a negative 2x here, so if I double that, I would end up with negative 4x. And then I square the last term, so a negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4. We would do the same thing with our y term. We square the first term find the product, and it, the middle term is always twice the product, so we would do 2 times negative 11, which would give us negative 22y, and then we would square the last term, which is 121. Okay, um, to square this side, remember that 2 square root of 2 really means, when I square that, it really means 2 square root of 2 times 2 square root of 2. So what you would have to do is you would multiply the 2 times 2, which gives you 4, and then the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is really the square root of 4, so this is really 4 times 2, which gives us 8. Um, so just in case you needed to see uh, where this, where I got the 8 from, that's where I got the 8 from, is because I would um, square the 2, which is 4. When I square a square root, I basically end up with what's inside, just the 2, so if I do 4 times 2, I end up with 8. We are still not done because in general form it does have to equal 0. So we want to get it in this form where we have our x squared term first, followed by our y squared term. Then we want our x term. ax, remember that a is just um, any real number, so that's our coefficient on x. So this would be our x term, so we would have minus 4x. The y term would come next, so minus 22y. And then we would have to combine all of our terms, and I'm going to bring this 8 to the other side. So I would have 4 plus 121, which gives us 125. And then because I'm bringing this over, I would subtract the 8. So 125 minus 8 would give me 117. So this is the general form of a circle. This one is definitely not the easiest way to graph from. If you want to graph, you want to have it in standard form, um, but if you need to have it in general form, this is what you would do. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.